lighting, sound, cameraman. Let's just have a bit of a huddle meeting here. Huddle meeting, huddle meeting. Uh, we might get the, um, I want to do a few interviews this week, see if we can get some interviews out. We want to do the live show, 30 minute live shows, keep it 30 minutes, keep it strong, keep on topic. Uh, lion trainer, bearded lady, bozo, just keep them away from the big tent. If you see them, if you see them walking around the, the big tent, the big top, just 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 tell them to piss off they're not welcome inside the big top anymore but we don't want to make any mention of them on the channel they are person non gratis person non gratis okay guys let's get live three two one live with Archie Luxury. How are you bikers today? How are you guys? How are you? Hey guys, I am fantastic. Fantastic. Now, today's topic is today's topic on discussion here. What are we talking about? If you could get any Rolex if you could get any Rolex at retail, what would you pick? What would you buy if you could? Geez, this is a very strange predicament. I always said, don't pay retail. Now we dream of it, hey? Sometimes this is how life, it goes. This is how life goes sometimes. And I got to tell you, man, not much, not much I can do. This is it. This is the way it goes. And, you know, I would love to go into an AD. Okay, just pretend <clears throat> you went into an AD. They had everything in stock. Okay, I've recently paid off my credit card, so I have a credit card ready to charge. Because otherwise... Let's face it, for a lot of, including myself, most of the time, I don't even have the money. I don't even have the money to spend. That's right, I don't even have the money to spend. So, I gotta say there, man, what would you do? What would you do? Well, you'd be stuffed, you'd be faked. But... Okay, let's pretend we went in there and we can get anything, anything we want. What would you pick? What would you pick? $20 RCO, RCO Arch. I really want a 40 mil Sea Dweller, but wondering if it's smarter to get a sub. Thoughts? I gotta be totally honest with you. I think, I think the 4000, that's the Sea Dweller 4000 ceramic, I think it's overpriced personally. I would rather, I reckon the Deep Sea is the bargain. Personally, yeah, I just get a standard sub. Get a standard sub. I think it is more uh, usable, more. That's what I would do. Forget. It's too, the premium's too high. It's, it's cra I, I just worry about that. And I think a sub is usable. It's the classic, iconic watch there. Ghost of AC3's lost you, five bucks. If a girl says just the tip, is it okay to ram it in all the way and go full throttle? No, no, no. You're better off just to be nice and polite and accidentally slip. That's the best way. Um, I don't think it's not. Look, you gotta, you gotta understand when you're in intimate relations, you gotta do things nicely. You gotta be nice. You gotta be cool about the whole thing. Otherwise, you won't be invited back. Okay, you gotta be, you gotta be cool about things. It's always better to be cool. 
better to be cool. But I gotta be honest with you, Sea Dweller, or the, um, I gotta be honest with you, the Sea, sea Dweller 4000, Sea Dweller 4000, look, or a sub, I prefer the sub, prefer the sub, because it's usable, I just think the sub is classic, the proportions, the size, most of us aren't gonna go diving with it. Uh, I'd personally, I don't think it's worth the premium. I don't think it's worth the premium. I'm a value shopper. Value, value, value. And uh, look at this Kentucky. You're a bit of a nasty guy there, aren't you? You're very nasty. Let's just give you a little uh, time out. We'll give you some time out to uh, pay your respects. You're blocked for five minutes. Just have some manners. Have some manners. So what would I give if I, if I was invited? Oh, look. I'd love a panda. Number one would be the panda. I'd want a panda Daytona. The panda. Number two, Pepsi. 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 Steel Pepsi. I'd want a steel Pepsi. Number three would be the Kermit. The new Kermit. Number four, Batgirl. 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 Number five, number five, no date sub, no date sub, ride share Ryan two dollars, sell a double, well sorry, sell a one six six one oh two AD for a one two six six at retail. What's he giving you for the one six six one zero? That's the question. It's all about the money. It's all about the moolah. It's all about the moolah. Um, it's all, remember this, whenever you're selling to an AD like that, he's gonna make his money. You're selling too cheap. Okay, would I do it? You haven't told me about the 16610. Is it papers, box papers? Is it mint, never worn? Is it a tritium? This is it a note? What, which, what, what, what version and what sort of money? See, these variables are just so, so, so important. <laughs> Anthony R. Two dollars. Disregard the secondary market influence. Thank you, Anthony. I got to tell you, seriously, um, you've got to realize, got to tread carefully there. I love the new Submariner. I think the size and the ceramic is really good, but it depends, it depends on a lot of things. Not only financial, that 16610 could be your first Rolex. It could be one you got, your parents bought you, and they're now gone, you know what I mean? a lot of factors in this here it's not just money and emotion rb canadian seven dollars chrono 24 has a white gold submariner listed at thirty thousand canadian dollars over retail you know the, you know the market is ridiculous when things go that crazy it's Ridiculous. 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 Absolutely ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Okay? That's my own opinion. It's my own opinion. Alex Spain. Alex Spain. Five euro. Daytona Platinum would be brutal. Ah, would be brutal. Brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Ah, uh, Daytona Platinum would be brutal. Daytona Platinum would be brutal. Five pound. Ah, uh, of course, man. And I got a friend of mine who's getting one with the baguette diamonds. Absolutely brutal. Ah, uh, beautiful, beautiful. Can you wear it? Can you do things with it? I don't know. But, yeah, it, it, it's gorgeous. Absolutely. Daytona's gorgeous. Car fun. 
Five bucks. Five bucks, Carfun. 6.2k US to spend on a nice watch. Sold my speedy and regret it. What's a man to do, Arch? Look, I'd I dare say 6.2k. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. Where would we go? With if you're in America, where would you go to buy a a pre-owned watch in America? Where would you go, guys? Where would you go? Where would you go? There's only one place I'd go, David SW. And if you mention Archie Luxury, he may even give you a little bit of a discount. And we love our discounts. Remember that. We love discounts. Let's have a look. 6.2. What, what can we get in Lulex? In Rolex for 6.2. Uh, it's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. Um, I got to tell you. I got to tell you. It's not a lot of money. It's not a lot of money. Um, it's not a fortune, but it's, 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 what can we get? It's not a fortune. What can we get? What can we get? What can we get? Let's have a look here. David SW, look at Rolex. We want to look at Rolex. Rolex? Come on. What's happening here? It's playing up on me. Rolex? And what would we look at Rolex? What would, could we get a Milgauss? What's a Milgauss going to set us back? Let's have a look. Milgauss? Oh, 10. 10, okay. Uh, could we get an Explorer? Let's have a look at Explorers. Explorers? Okay, that's about 9. 9,000, so a little bit short. Uh, what else could we possibly get? Oyster Perpetual? Could we go in Oyster Perpetual? They're going high. Look at this. Uh, yeah, it's a tricky, tricky, tricky situation. What would I do? What would I do? Six point two thousand six and a, that's a lot of money. That's that's a lot of money. Um, I'd probably, you know, I'd probably. My own opinion is, what would I do? I would love to. Ah, oh, it's hard. It's very hard. What's the Air King? Can we get an Air King? What's an Air King going to set us back? An Air King? Seven. Okay, there we go. Air King. Air King. Just under eight. Maybe an Air King. Look at that. An Air King. That's 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 probably not a bad... That's actually not a bad watch to have there. Uh, yeah, I'd probably go Air King, I reckon. Air King. It's going to... I know you got to squeeze a bit more, but come on. We can all squeeze a bit. Put it on a credit card. HELOC, if you've got a home loan, HELOC, use a HELOC. Use a HELOC, that's what I would do. Home equity line of credit. That's what credit cards are for, man. you got to get a dream a little. Come on, a couple thousand dollars on a credit card ain't going to kill you. Ain't going to kill you. It ain't going to kill you. It's going to be okay. It'll be fine. Lalex, cheers to the pontiff. Cheers to the Pontiff. Hey, Lolex, if you want to come on, I'll put the link in the description there. You can jump on. If you want to come on and talk watches with me, jump on in. Jump on in. Uh, you know, this is the whole problem. Let me tell you this, man. 6.2K. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And uh, i got to be honest with you. It's... Uh, here we go. Paige. Hello, Paige. Hello? Oops, that one's gone. Uh, Lolex. Rolex. Yeah, cheers to the pontiff. Um, I gotta be totally honest with you. It's, it's, this is the damn dilemma. Let me tell you this, guys. The dilemma is six and a half thousand, six point two is a lot of money. Uh, it's, it, it is a lot of money. Um, it is a lot of money. What would I do? Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a lot of money, guys. It's a lot of money. Uh, David Coffey. Here we go. David Coffey, how are you? Let me tell you this, guy. Hello, David. Hey, how are you, Arch? Hey, I am fantastic. Super chat, here we go. Just thoughts, really. Two pounds. 
I'd buy a 124060 sub if it was my... I don't think you got enough money. You haven't got enough money to do that. You haven't got enough money. You need to put a bit more in. David Coffey, what's going on? Talk to me, watchers. What are you doing? What do you have? Tell me your story. Oh, I have lots of stories, Arch, but um, you know, I'm looking at a couple new pieces right now. So, What are you looking at? Tell me, tell me. You know, I've, I've really been looking at the uh, Vacheron uh, Overseas, uh, as well as the uh, All White Gold Daytona. Those are kind of my two on my, on my hot list right now. The Vacheron Overseas, talking chrono, or are we talking three-hander? What are we talking? Uh, we're talking the uh, Perpetual Calendar with the Moon Phase. Okay, massive depreciate. Are you buying it used? Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Um, um, it's got a beautiful dial. I mean, it really does. Yes, yes. I'm a bit worried, that's all. I'm a bit worried... Um, I'm a bit worried, that's all. I'm just a bit worried, that's all. I'm just thinking, you know, Vacheron, you've got to be careful. That brand is... Can't you get a Patek? Why aren't you a Patek man? Come on. They look too small on my wrist. What budget you got here? <laughs> well, I don't have as many Pateks as you do, but um, I just prefer the bigger watch, so... Ooh, okie dokie. Uh, let me think on that for a minute there. Rideshare, Ryan, $2. Speaking of retail, are pandas even real? What's going on, guys? Hey, Lolex. We got we got David Coffee in the house. I got to be honest with you, David. It just worries me with Vacheron. It just worries me. I, I, I'm just, I just worry. How would you get out of this damn thing? Well, I mean, it's kind of like anything else, right? I mean, you, you buy it because you love it, so. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, Wait, okay. what watch are we talking about? He wants bring, to buy bring it. Up the, uh, bring up the uh, Vacheron uh, overseas with the uh, all okay. gold with the blue dial. Okay, oh, one man. tick there. Here we go. Alex Spain, five euro. Have a drink, my friend. I will. And Ghost of ac3's lost youth what's more important bragging about owning old rare turd rolex or having psych sex more than once a decade definitely sex 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 i gotta be honest with you sex 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 i think is far more important than any of these whist watches there absolutely Absolutely. Very quickly, Yankee Doodle, five bucks. Is there a difference between the 5127 and the 5227 besides the officer's cape back and movement? Well, the movement is the same. They both use the 324 movement. It's the size of the case. The 5127 is 37 mils. The 5227, 39. So that's the difference. And it's got the hinged back. The 5127 also has the crown guards, which the 5227 doesn't. So there is some very key differences, but it's basically very similar, very similar watches. You can get a 5127 much cheaper than a 5227. But a 5227 has got the hinge back, which I admit is, it's a current model. 5227 is a current model. Okay, let's bring this baby up on the screen. What model is it we're talking about here? What's the model? Tell me what it's called. It's a Vacheron. Give it to me. Vacheron. It's, it's a, a perpetual Vacheron. calendar, isn't it? Yeah, overseas. Uh... Are you looking at this new or pre-owned? Uh, I, would, I would get it used, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let's have a look. Woo! Let's look at this here. It's actually... to. You, you mean beautiful. like this blue? Wow. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. Wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. How much? How much? Give me a gimme, 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 gimme. What's the well, price? Re retail is 94. And second hand? Uh, like 80. Still so, a lot, lot of that. money. That's a lot of actual. money. A lot. 80,000 US dollars. We're talking US dollars. Real money, are we? Real money. <laughs> real, real, real money. 
Yeah, not that Monopoly money. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful watch, but at eighty grand, eighty thousand dollars. A lot of cash. Whew. Um, no, I don't yeah. think I, I, for that sort of money, it'd have to be a paddock. You'd have to. Yeah. What would you get for eighty thousand in paddock? You get a uh, fifty-nine oh five. You can get a solid gold Aquanaut too. That'd be pretty sick. But the fifty-nine oh five is not on a bracelet, is it? No, it's it's the platinum on the uh, the leather with the chronograph. Look, David, I got to be honest with you. This is crazy league here, yeah. right? Crazy. I, I think, think myself. I just think it's a beautiful. I just think it's a beautiful watch. Oh. It is beautiful. It is beautiful, right? But. David, David, well, David, the, David. The, the, white, the white gold, the white gold Daytona may be a little bit more of a, of a, you know, prudent. I'm thing. just concerned yeah. when you put so much money in. I, I don't know how rich you are, David, but eighty grand. That's a lot of money. Like if you need it back, how 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 easy it is. I just think myself. You know what? Sometimes, David, you only live once. Just just put it on the HELOC. <laughs> Put it on the HELOC! <clears throat> How would you pay for it? You got money already for it? Uh, yeah, we, we could we could buy that. It's just, you're paying uh, cash or you're financing it? No, we pay in cash, so. Pay you in know what, cash? David? That's crazy. David. <laughs> Walking with 80 grand. Here we go, Herman Sows. Herman Sows, I love you, Herman Sows. Five dollars, Arch. I just can't pull the trigger on a paddock, Calatrava. They... Oh, look like my grandmother's watch. Herman, 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 you've got to do it, man. Herman, Herman, don't say that. That is, I got, Herman, so, look. Look, I'm, look, you can get a 51, get a 5196, 5196. Get one of these, Herman. Get one of these. These are beautiful. Get one, Herman. Herman sews. Come on, come on. Come on, Herman. Get one, get one. You need one. You know you want it, Herman. You gotta do, you only live once, Herman. Mr. Two, eight bucks inside Archie's brain. David, 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 give me that money. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Two. And car fun. Five bucks. Post the link again for the stream. AC3, you're talking millionaire watches. Let's get real. I'll take you back to normal AC3 chat. Come on, man. I, I got to say, look, for $80,000, can I say this to you, David? Sure. David, please, please listen to me, okay? Listen to me, David. I'm just a bit concerned. Okay, let's pull up Chrono. I'll tell you what I'd get. Okay, Chrono 24, 80,000 bucks. Let me show you what I, I think you should get. 80,000 bucks. How about a 5170P? Look at this. Manu manual wine paddock. What do you think of one of these? Come on. 90,000 with diamonds. Look at that. That's. Doc BBW, what do you think of that? Uh, just a manual wine chronograph paddock. What's no, it doesn't do it for you, does it? You know, also, it doesn't. You can also look at the uh, you know 5230, which is trading for around 35 right now, which is still a beautiful watch as well. 5230, that's the world time. Yeah, beautiful watch. I tell you what, you want something. I know what you want. What, what's a 5980, 5980, you know, the two-tone chronograph pad, 100,000, yeah. that's what I think. I, do you think that's nicer? I think that's one of the most beautiful two-tone watches on the market today. On a leather strap? No, no, this is this is on a bracelet. It's a no, two-tone, rose gold and steel. That's the most beautiful two-tone watch. Would you, I, I'd rather get that, to be honest with you. No? Tell me. Dave, tell me, tell me, tell me. I mean, I, I like I like that, and I, I like my root beer. I don't think I like that more than my root beer, to be honest with you. 
it. Okay, Alex Spain, five pounds. Very nice advice from ER. She is the best, of course. She's she's. Oh my God, ER, one hundred dollars. Why doesn't that guy consider the Rolex Day Date Platinum with the ice blue dial? Bring up that watch art. Seen it in the flesh. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got to tell you, she's got a, she's got a, she's got a point there. What do you think? 40 mil ice blue. Look at this. Look at this. What do you think? Actually, that's a weird one with the with the, yeah. with the Romans like that. Let's go back. What do you think? Look at this. Ice blue. What do you think? 60,000 bucks. I got to tell you, just between you and me, Dave, I think that Vacheron does pop. I'm just worried. It doesn't worry you that or you don't... Like the, the thing that gets me is the overseas was never the greatest model in the range. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I just liked how it looked. I mean, I, I just think it's a beautiful watch. So It is. It is a beautiful watch. That's what stumps me so much. I mean, the, the thing about the Platinum, particularly with the Day Date or the Daytona, right? I mean, it, it's a... Yeah, actually, very, she's very... right. ER is right. If you're going to spend that money, man, you've got to get a Rolex Platinum. Come on, man. What mm. about a Platinum Daytona? They're just very, very heavy. Right? Yeah. You, you need to understand that, you know, those are almost 300 grams. So Yes. Is that a problem? Well, Someone it, who has 90,000 in savings, I'm sure you've shoveled a lot of other people's shit to get there. Yeah. No, it, 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 it's just, uh, you know, when, when you, you, you need to understand when you buy a watch like that, um, that, you know, it, it is kind of a, a, I don't want to say a burden, but it, 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 you feel it all day long when you wear that heavy of a watch. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. The day 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 platinum, you know, the day day platinum is a beautiful watch as well. So, would you get yellow gold or platinum? Do you like platinum better? I like platinum because it's not as flashy. I got to be honest with you, that overseas just pops in the in in the gold. Does it's rose gold, isn't it? Is that rose gold? Oh yeah, it's yellow gold. The the overseas yellow. Is yellow gold, the one they brought up. I got to be honest with you. I got to be totally honest with you, David. What a great decision in life, man! You have really hit a home run in life. If you are the biggest dilemma you've got is what do you spend eighty k on, man? What sort of car do you drive, Dave? I'm a simple guy. I drive a. a Cadillac uh, XT5. Okay, very nice. But I, and I, how? Yeah. What industry? I don't want to. I don't want to out you. But what industry are you in there? How have you done so well? Uh, I'm in private equity. Ah, beautiful. Other people's money. Beautiful. Beautiful. I seen that movie, Margin Call. It's my favorite movie. Something like um, that. Yeah. Herman Sows. Herman Sows. Five bucks. 5196 looks exactly like my grandmother's watch. Before the end of the year, I'll have a new Patek arch. You know I only buy new. Look, I tell you what, Herman Sows, if I were you, what about the 5227? Herman Sows, the 5227? You know who's got one? Paul Brittany. Paul Brittany's got one. I'm going to pull that up now, okay? Oh, is that the one with the case, the back? Yeah, that's the one we were just talking about there. We are just talking about that before on the show. That's the one with the officer's case back. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, look, they're expensive, but he's, he wants to... Herman says he only buys new, which, mm. you know, for some people, I get it. I get it. You know, sometimes they just... Sometimes just p pay the piper and for, be done with it. For hey, Rolex, I think the okay. advice you gave me when I talked about uh, buying a Patek new with you is that, you know, do you want to spend $20,000 more to have your name on the warranty card? I think that yeah. was the advice you gave me. Yeah, exactly. Look, this is the watch here. It's it's an absolute beauty, absolute beauty. Um, 
How well, fragile are those case backs, though? Are they sturdy or? Well, it, it it opens up like a pocket watch. It's yeah. like a pocket watch. I know it opens, but I mean, like, do those things break easily? Because it looks kind of, it doesn't look very sturdy. Well, how would you? Ha- why would you be opening? You, you, you'd only when you're opening, you'd be careful with it. You wouldn't just be opening it every. You wouldn't give it to any bozo to open up, would you? You'd you'd be. No. I'm you know, just I, I, long term. I don't think it's. I got to be totally honest with you. It's a beautiful watch. I think Herman says this is what I'd get five two two seven. It's expensive. But man, you only live once. Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful watch. It's beautiful. I gotta tell you, Dave. How old are you, Dave? What's that? What age are you? I just turned fifty. Okay, so similar age to me. You know what? If you really like the Vacheron, just pull the trigger. It's a tough one. It's a tough decision, though, isn't it? I personally... Look, you got to decide, man. It is amazing. I won't lie to you. The only thing is, I just think there are other amazing things. I probably would go for the Patek, that two-tone, 5980. I think that is a... It depends. Do you really want a perpetual? That's the question you got to ask yourself. Do you really want a perpetual? Historically speaking, Vacheron has not done as well as Patek. Okay. Now I got to be totally honest with you, Dave. If you're fifty years old, in twenty years' time you'll be seventy, right? Yes, hopefully. Got Maybe it you don't give a shit about resale. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, I get to the stage now where I think, you know what? I really don't care what it's worth in twenty years' time because if I'm alive, that's my bonus. Dave, what other watches do you have? Oh, I, I have a few other ones. Um, kind, of, kind of my everyday, I, I kind of go back and forth between the the, uh, the new bluesy, the old bluesy, the uh, root beer, um, the sky dweller. I have a... Oh. Um, then the Nautilus wouldn't really make that much sense because you already got like sports watches. So I could see how that Vacheron, that would probably fit in better with your collection, something thinner. Yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a bling watch, right? I mean, it's it's. Yeah. Uh, but it's super thin, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, that it's could be than, like I your think dress it's, watch. I think it's like eleven millimeters. It's it's slimmer than a uh, Daytona. Yeah, so I could. Yeah, I mean, that'd probably be better in your collection versus the Nautilus and the you know, Day Day too. You're not an AP man, like a Royal Oak doesn't really fancy you, or. Um, not, not really. I mean, you know, I, I, I obviously the, the brand is awesome. Um, they, the horology that they have in their, their history is awesome, but I'm, I have a hard time with the concept of a, of an AP being a dive watch that, that doesn't go past, you know, 50 meters. No, so, no, you're mm-hmm. right. You're right. Herman sews five bucks. My favorite VC is the Vacheron Constantine Overseas Jewel Time Steel Blue Dial. Let's call that up. That, that's an awesome watch too. That's about twenty five thousand new. Yes, that, that's how much new? About twenty five, brand new. Okay, here we go. Twenty five. Yep, you're on the money. You're on the money. I must say, um, you know, Herman. Instead of the paddock, maybe that is the one to go for for you. It is beautiful. I can't deny it. It is beautiful. So what what, um, Vacheron, what Vacheron is doing right now is they're offering three bands with all their watches. They're giving the steel bracelet, the yes. rubber, and the and the, uh, the leather. Yes. With yes. Watch, very interesting. So. What was the reference number again, Dave? That watch we were talking about, the gold one, the VC. Oh, I'm I'm not sure. It's the perpetual calendar. I don't know the reference number off the top of my head. It's the perpetual calendar. I'll I'll, I'll bring it up. Let, let's have a look there. Okay, we'll just bring it up it there. Again. Okay, so here we go. This is here. Look, look at it. It is. Uh, this, what's the cheapest we can get one of these? Let's have a look. Okay, so so we want the blue eighty one thousand, eighty two thousand. Here we go. So the reference number on this here is a forty three hundred V. Okay, and then the rest of it's bracelet and dial numbers. So they give you a rubber strap, 
the bracelet and then a leather strap when you buy the watch, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That le- that rubber strap looks pretty nice. But the nice. thing is, you got to remember too that you can't just use a normal strap because if you have a look at this one here with yeah, the leather strap weird. fitted, they actually, have a, they actually have a quick release function where you can you just pop pop it off. So it's like a, you do it with your fingernail. It's a quick release function on on the bracelet and the leather and the rubber. I wish Rolex did that. I hate that you have to get a tool and you're going to scratch up the inside. I wish they had a quick Her, release. Herman Sows, maybe a 6006. It's modern. He doesn't want the grandma look. Herman Sows doesn't want grandma look, right? He wants to be very cool. I got to tell you, Herman Sows, 6006. It's, it's sporty. It's It's... It's modern. It's like a military watch. It's white gold, so it's like a steel. It's that's maybe another option for you, Herman. So that's that model was discontinued, but there is few dealers have them at lying around still. Uh, I've got that model. I've got the six. Do you like the six thousand and six, guys? What, what what do you think, Dave? My favorite, favorite Patek. Dave, what do you think? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Here we go. Alex Spain, five euro. Consider the six thousand and seven paddock. Love it. Yeah, it's so expensive. That's going for massive premium. They um, they they released this watch. You got to admit this is cheeky. They released this watch just as they opened a new building up. They had a new building. They built this building, so they thought, how can we, how can we fast track the debt? Ah, we'll bring out a limited edition one. Yeah. And look at the price now. Yeah, that's crazy. Wowzers! Look at that. Dang, that's look stainless steel? Or is that white gold? Stainless steel. Stainless that's steel. Crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. It's basically the same as my 6006, except yeah, that it's absolute... Lo- the, the premium is just lunacy. Lunacy. I, I don't think it's worth it. i got to tell you, Dave... What do you think of the way I've gone? Paddock, paddock, paddock. Give me your opinion. What's your opinion, Dave? Well, You're think... somebody whose opinion actually is worth something. Unlike a lot of pretenders we get on the show here. Thanks, Arch. I think the other night you went no, to... No, no, we love you. We love you, Lolex. You're a Rolex man. You, you're I'm a Rolex. Rolex man. I think the other night you I, went to... I was to talking an about the bearded lady. The bearded lady. You, you went Tell through me. the other night and added up the value of all your Pateks, right? Yeah. So, I mean, would would you consider, you know, getting rid of, you know, four of them to get the, you know, the Vacheron that we we're talking about? No, I personally, yes. I wouldn't. I honestly, like, I tell you, I tell you my problem is, number one, I'm in Brisbane, okay? Brisbane is not exact, it's like Missouri, okay? It's a great place to drive through, but it's a great place to drive through, but it ain't exactly high on selling these things, okay? That's 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 the five, because I'm actually going to give one to a dealer on consignment, okay? Which one are you going to get? I got two 5127s. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give it to him on consignment to flick for Christmas. I just want to get my money back, okay? And I'd like to get just a normal Rolex for myself. I want to get... A Rolex. Archie, keep, if, yes. you, if you could only keep one of your five paddocks, which one would it be? If you could only yeah, keep one a, of them. Oh, that's a hard thing. You know, probably... Look, I don't, any one of them I could keep. Any one? You don't, you're not partial any, to any, any particular one? Well, I mean, the world time I always wanted. Right. Okay, that was a grail for like 20 years. No, the those annual are still calendar for thirty three thousand US. So sorry, what's that? The the that that world time's still going for like thirty three thousand US. Oh no no, my one's probably about twenty five. I think it's slightly smaller. My one because mine's oh, a five. A, okay, I'm sorry. I thought there was a fifty one thirty. No no, mine's a fifty one ten. Fifty one ten. But but still, that, that, that I, I think it's got the best gilla shape. How big is the fifty one thirty? 39. 39. And how much is how big is a 5110? 37. Oh, that's not bad. Too yeah, many? yeah. That's not bad. The annual calendar, that was one I got for my 40th, so it's got a bit of sentimental value. I, I love I, even though that's probably 
you know, a lot of people think it's too small, too small, but it's, it's, it, it's, it, it is what it is. I kind of like it. I got a sentimental value with it. The 5196 in the middle there, I just love it. That's just, I think that's one of the most beautiful paddocks of all time. And then look at the back row. I've got the two white gold ones. I love the 5127. That's with the, with the crown guards. It's beautiful. What was that paddock that you were telling me about yesterday? The one that you really liked that was like 50 grand? Ah, uh, that was the... the there was a black one. and white dial. Ah, uh, I think that was the 5205. Five, two, that was an annual calendar, wasn't it? Or what was it? I think it was a chrono. Ah, uh, that would be a 5170. Manual yeah. white chronograph, yeah. The one with the white dial that had the pulsation. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Fifty one seventy. But you know, that's that's so much money. Would you? I don't know. Would you keep the world time, move off the other Patex, and then buy the five one seven zero? The problem is, I'd probably get more enjoyment having a number of pieces than one expensive. Really. Yeah. Arch, would, you, would you consider going like the, you know, going back to the bluesy, but the new one, right? The the new one two six six one three BL. Well, right? I'd even consider. I'd even consider. Here. I'd even consider the uh, the ceramic bluesy as well. Yeah, the the new one, the, the brand new one. Right? No, no, what, it doesn't even have to be the new one. Just a ceramic. Any ceramic one would be fine as well. So yeah, you're, oh, yeah, the, the one one six six one three. The, the so you're uh, yeah. over the Explorer two. You want a ceramic dial now? Forty two mil Explorer two would also be quite good. Which one would you the, get? A ceramic dial or the forty two mil Explorer two? The problem is, the bluesy is considerably more. Yeah, I, I don't mind. Look, look, it depends. It depends on the budget. You know, I got to be honest with you. I think a bluesy is an amazing watch. It's, the, the, I tell you what the problem is, okay? Dave, you might want to take some insight out of this, right? These paddocks look amazing, but they're not really usable. You know you know what I mean? They're kind of... Right. That's, why, that's why I have a bluesy and a root beer for every day, because I can go swim mm. in the ocean with it. And it... I, I've suddenly realized particularly living in the tropics these aren't the most practical watches to own okay i mean even the uh you know our you know even going back and looking at like an omega seamaster 300 the 36912 no date um you know that's an amazing watch too that that doesn't cost a lot of money and, it, and it's a 41 mil sports watch that you can you can wear uh perfectly in the uh you know in the ocean in the tropics and everywhere else Alex is saying five pounds, six thousand and seven paddock. Love it. Of course, it's ninety thousand. It's ridiculous. I mean, uh, I can't believe. I can't understand if if you if that's a bug. If that's ninety thousand, the six thousand and six, which is basically what that is based on, is an absolute bargain at twenties in the twenties. Well, I mean, the new the uh, you know the fifty two thirty world times now are listed at fifty two thousand for brand new ones. What Tell me this, David. Retail? That's that's what that is retail fifty two thousand. Oh, retail. that's what, oh, okay. fifty two thousand for the world time now. Yeah. Huh. Tell gold. me this, David. What out of this picture here? What what would you keep if you could only keep one? What would you keep? I would keep the perpetual calendar because I honestly think that one sorry, of the sorry the best, annual. I don't have I'm a sorry perpetual. the annual calendar. Yeah. So I honestly think one of the best videos you ever made was when you bought that watch and, and talked about. Um, what your watch says about you yes and okay, I, and I, I remember i remember watching that uh, years ago mm -hmm. and i thought that was a you know was a, was a great it was a very short video under three minutes but it was a great video and, and it featured that watch i would keep that one That's tell me so this fun. i'm going to ask both of you guys rolex and dave dave firstly if i wanted to trim this collection down to three pieces what would you keep and what would you ditch Ooh. Uh, I'd keep the new Calatrava, the World Time, and the the annual calendar. Which new Calatrava? You mean the the gold the, one in the front? Oh, the front row, all the yellow gold you'd keep. Yeah. What about you, Lolex? What would you keep? I'd Three. keep I'd keep the Calatrava, the 
yellow gold in the front, the world time, and the 6006 in the back. <laughs> That's what I think you should do. I think you should keep those three, move uh, the perpetual, the sorry, Calitrava. It's, annual. it's not a perpetual, sorry, sorry. it's an annual. It's annual. an annual. annual. I'd move the annual, the mm -hmm. uh, Calatrava in the back, and then I'd get like a bluesy. And then you, you have the bluesy, and then you, ha you got the Jaeger. That's five gotta, pieces right there. You know, sometimes you know my biggest problem is I can't see the wood for the trees. Like with yeah. this collection, I can't see what I should do because I'm too on top of it. You know what I mean? Here, I have a question. Okay, sure. so you say you like more pieces, right? Would you rather have? So you have six pieces. Would you rather have your six pieces, or would you rather have two expensive, awesome pieces? Like you have... Well, I think say, these are five expensive awesome I mean, pieces. No, they are. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of... Let's say you had the 5170G and yeah. then the Uzi, and those were yeah. your two pieces. Yeah, no, no, you're right. You're 100% right. Herman sews five bucks. Keep all five, Arch. I tell you what I'm probably going to do because I'm a bit of a coward, okay? Let me just tell you this. You know what I'm thinking of doing? I'm selling the double up. Okay, because I've, I've got two of them, right? So I'm going to sell the one without papers. It's just got an extract, okay? The the older Calatrava, right? Actually, it's it's the one in the back row, but it's not in this photo because I've got two 5127s. It's the Crown Guard. I've got two huh. of them, exact same model. I got two, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sell that, wholesale it out. I didn't, I didn't make much. I didn't make much at all, but I'm just going to wholesale it out. And then... If I had the balls, I should just buy a ceramic bluesy with the money. You know, that yeah. ceramic bluesy is so amazing, you know? So is that what you're thinking of doing? Yeah. Getting a new bluesy? Well, pre-owned, because I got no dealer contacts. Well, you know? so, I mean, Arch, the thing is about the, the pre-owned is, is you, they're actually more than getting yeah. a new one at the AD. Right I know, now. I know, but I don't have any AD favors, see. I think I've said this before, Archie. I think you can walk into an AD and a sales associate probably wrecks you, and you could be like, Hey, yeah. I want to get a watch. Let me shoot a video here. They might let you just because of promotion. I'm shy. You're shy. I don't like asking, and then they say, Did you no. just say that? You, yeah, Archie, I'm you sure can't not. be shy. You gotta walk in there and just be like, "Hey, what's are, going are, on?" How, how long has it been since you've owned a Rolex? Has it been over a year? Yeah, yeah. Got rid of it. I got rid of it to pay for the five one nine six. And you know what? I gotta tell you something. You know, it's like bloodletting. You know how you? <laughs> it's like getting rid of a Rolex. You don't realize what happens until you've actually done it. Yeah. I've been fortunate I haven't sold a Rolex yet. I've only sold off Omegas and a Bretling that I had. But my first Rolex I bought, I plan on keeping. Yes. Yes. So, Archie, out of your five, you asked us which three we would keep. Which yes. three would you keep? I, I, I'm very scared of selling any of those. I just but you had to. It. You had to. You had to keep three. Which one would it be? Herman Sows, quickly, five bucks. Arch, I got my new Pepsi because I mentioned your name and told him I was coming to see you. There Herman you Sows. Look at that. Herman Sows. Well done, Herman. He, and Herman Sows, you know what? You deserve it. You're such a nice guy. He's a lovely guy. I absolutely love Herman Sows. Look, if I had to keep three. Yeah, you can only keep three. Oh, jeez. That's a hard one, you know. I, I reckon, oh my god, you know, maybe the front row. I think the front row, just keep yellow gold, those three. Really? Yeah. yeah how, how much did you spend on the service for the uh, for the annual calendar? Wasn't that like almost $3,000? It wasn't, well, that was Australian dollars. Okay, so it's about two and a half US with a new strap. And they polished it. I didn't think it was that bad, you know? Mm. Guys, I'm going to wrap this show up. I want yeah. to thank you for coming on today. You guys are really cool. I love you. 
We'll be back tomorrow. Please come on again, Dave. And Lolex, please come on as well. You guys are both welcome back. Great talk. Uh, thanks, Arch. Hey, thanks, Arch. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for coming and seeing the show.